cab in the middle of nowhere. Welcome to Life on the Moose, and welcome back if you've been here before. It's a warm and windy day. Let's get in the cabin. Ooh. Well, if you're like the millions of other people around the world that woke up this morning and said, I'd really like to watch a quality video on oiling a blue pine ceiling in a cabin, this is your lucky day. What are the odds? So we're going to get some oil up there in this episode today. Before we do that, I want to accomplish two things. One, I'm going to wrap those rafter ties right there, those collar ties. We'll make a beam out of it. And guess what we'll be using? Cedar fence boards. All right. And the other thing we have to do before we oil the ceiling, the very peak, we need to put a trim board up there because what we're looking at at the very top is actually the ridge board. And we want to cover that up. And you'll never guess what I'm going to use for material. <laughs> yes, cedar fence board. Basically, I cut a one by four and then I put a 45 degree angle on each side to represent the slope of the ceiling. As I mentioned, it's warm outside, warm today, it's supposed to be a little cooler tomorrow and then start getting cooler for the next about three, four days. According to my thermometer, it's over 50 degrees and it's probably high 40s outside. We're going to want to open up some windows and doors to get some ventilation in here while I'm oiling that ceiling. So I'm going to use tongue oil on the ceiling, but I'll get to that when I get to that. Okay, so what do you want to do first? Do you want to put that ridge cap up or would you like to make a beam? <laughs> okay, let's make a beam!
Okay, the beam is wrapped. Can you tell it's not one solid piece of wood? You sure you can. That's okay. It's just a cabin in the middle of nowhere. It looks fine. Okay, let's put the trim in the very top. Maybe that'll pique your interest. <laughs> Get it? Well, that didn't take long. As I mentioned, I'm going to use tongue oil on the ceiling and I'm just going to brush it on. When I did the ridge cabin about a year ago, I started rolling. I thought, well, I'll just apply it with a roller and then go back and brush it in. And about halfway through, I decided I'm just going to brush it. It didn't take that much longer and it's just one less step. So I'm just going to brush this as well. I don't think there's any rocket science to it. I'm just going to start on the top, get this side out of the way, because I'll be on a ladder. It's 4.08 right now. If I can get this half done today would be good. I don't know. We'll see how quickly it goes on. One way or another, I think tomorrow we can wrap this up. Might be a quick episode. Speaking of episode, here's a question for you. Do you have a preferred length of video, or do you not care at all? Some people have told me, stop talking so much and shorten up your videos. And I've also heard people say, make your videos longer. I'm just throwing it out there, but I'd be curious to know. Okay, well, let's get oiling. Check that out. Obviously there's the line. Man, that really just brings the knots to life. Holy cow. The grain. That looks really good. Okay, do you approve? <laughs> okay, let's keep going.
Okay, I'm half finished. Check it out. Yeah, it's getting a little too dark to see. It's 5.35 right now. Okay, you stay put. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Well, tomorrow for me in about 30 seconds for you. <laughs> okay, see you soon. I'm back. Thanks for sticking around. I just turned the heater on in there. I think it's about 41 degrees. It's 12:30 right now. Sun is shining, obviously. So between the sun and the heater, it'll warm up in there pretty quickly. I'm confident. I'd like to get it a little bit warmer. And then when I start putting the oil on, I'll shut the heat off, open up the windows, get that nice breeze going through there. A lot colder today. It was low 30s today. Yesterday was high 40s. So big difference. I'm going to point out a couple things that we'll be doing in a few weeks. Do you see that tree that's leaning over about right there? Well, that's one tree I'd like to take down. There are a couple what I would call danger trees on this property that I would like to take down and mill up into lumber. In fact, some of that lumber I want to use for the floor in this cabin, as well as window trim and a few other little things in there. And hopefully we'll have enough material to make flooring for the house we hope to build as soon as we can. So in the next couple of episodes, I'll say three or four, we'll be milling some lumber. I think I mentioned my friend Caleb has a sawmill, so we'll get that over here and we'll make some lumber. Of course, I have a dozen dead trees on the ground 
that are burned from the fire we had several years ago. Those are ponderosa pines also on Red Moose Ranch, and those can be milled up as well. And that stuff, not really structural because it's been compromised and burned. So a lot of that is pretty brittle, but it's good stuff for flooring, window trim, millwork, cabinets, stuff like that, that, that don't have to have structural integrity, if you will. And the other thing I'd like to use that lumber for would be an outdoor kitchen. I think I'm gonna put it right down in that little ledge right there. Not 100% sure. So we'll mill a few timbers for that. Hopefully stockpile some material for projects down the road as well. All right, let's get in this cabin and see how warm it is. Okay, we're up to 45 degrees now, which is warm enough for me. Probably warmer up on the ceiling than it is down here. Plus I anticipated heating up slowly throughout the day. All right, well, let's get oiling.
Well, that's it. Tongue oil's on the ceiling. Looks fantastic. I'm happy with it. You ever used tongue oil before? And if so, what kind of wood did you use it on? And were you happy with it? I would think so. I mean, I haven't heard anything bad about tongue oil. I mean, what's there to say? It's oil, makes the wood look pretty. I like it. So I contemplated oiling the branches and the post and the beam right there. So the branches, most of those, as you remember, were green. As of about two weeks ago, they were still living on the tree. So those are pretty damp yet. And that beam wrapped in cedar, that cedar was stacked together and was moist when I got it from the store and it didn't have a chance to dry because it was, like I said, stacked tight together. So I'm gonna let those dry a couple more weeks and we'll hit that with tongue oil as well. The loft floor and the floor down here, we're going to stain a slightly darker color. Of course, I'll do that all at once, once this floor is in. Okay, I think that wraps up this episode. Thanks for watching another episode of Life on the Moose. I appreciate your support of this channel. All the subscribes, the likes, moose merch, all of the above. Without you watching, I wouldn't be here. Just that simple. So thank you. Know that you are appreciated. So next week, we'll finish up that tongue and groove. Put that on the walls vertically on the gable ends. I think it's going to look pretty good. All right, in the meantime, take care of yourself. Stay out of trouble. Well, a little trouble's okay to get into. Stay away from the serious stuff, though. I want you around. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next week.